Hey there, how's it going? I just want to talk about television programs. Something I rarely talk about because I don't watch much television. Some of the few shows that I watch end up being things like Law and Order, uh, CSI, NCIS, and I know that both CSI and NCIS are not very realistic in some of the elements of the way they go about things, but they're still entertaining. Um, law and Order is probably the only one out of those that the different types of Law and Order shows as well that actually attempt to really be kind of realistic, but I don't know, something I think is really funny about some of these shows is, I mean, a pet peeve of mine is the way that the computer interfaces are when they're, they're looking up something related to uh, some sort of crime that happened or, oh, they want to zoom in on this area. And the computer always makes these sounds. It's just like, uh, no. And the interface is never just plain like it really is. It's always some... It, the GUI looks like a game. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna play. Uh, oh, is is that Half Life Three or something? You know, you kind of wonder that when when you look at it. You know. And CSI, I mean, they'll even have these. Oh, look, we have this big hologram screen, and we can go like this on the screen. Uh, no. <laughs> even if something like that was even out there. The government isn't going to waste that waste money that much on something like that. Uh, CSI, CSI, everything is is done to look good. I mean, the cinematography on CSI is fantastic, especially you know, uh, like when there was still CSI Miami. The, the cinematography is just gorgeous. If you watch it just for the cinematography, you know, it's it's worthwhile. Um, <laughs> I can't even remember his name though, he always, you know, well he's gonna put on his sunglasses and then make some sort of little one-liner, you know. Entertaining, very, uh, <laughs> has a lot of hints of, of 80s Arnold Schwarzenegger movies or something, you know. Those one-liners, but it's entertaining, but that, that show is over. When it comes to the computer interfaces though, you know, I mean, it would be understandable if they do, I mean, it's it's always understandable when they do something like that on a Star Trek or something like that. You know, whenever they access the computer, you know, you get that sound. That's understandable, but not for something that's supposed to be current, you know? Do they really think that that's what people think of, of what it's like to look something up? I mean, in a lot of these cases, they would open up a shell and type something into a shell, and then they'd get some, some sort of a, a results in, in the shell, you know, a, a, a command prompt. It's a, it would be a CLI, you know. Um, or it'd be something just very, very, very plain. Do they want people to think that the government spends ridiculous amounts of money on technology in that regard for things that are meaningless? I don't know. Um, NCIS, um, I've grown to really like LL Cool J as an actor, uh, as far as the well, I can't even remember the name, is it, is it NCIS Los Angeles, is that, the, is that it? Anyway, you know, I've, I've liked him quite a bit on that, but the original NCIS show with Mark Ham, ha Harmon, I am, so often when I say this, I almost say Mark Hamill, no, that's not right, <laughs> but when they got rid of Ziva, I, I almost totally stopped watching the show. They replaced Ziva's character with some other character that's like a, she looks like a, a clone of Emma Watson or something. You know, Ziva was, to me, Ziva was the best character on NCIS. Just hands down. Um, just her personality, she was strong in every way that you can be strong. Just her, 
her humor, her charm, her whole thing, I loved her character. Um, I liked her character like I liked Marion on the original uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, you know? I just, I just thought she was fantastic. Loved it. Loved her character. And they got rid of her, and now they just got rid of Dinozo. I'm like, oh, come on. Come on. I don't know how that show is going to really continue when, when it, with the absence of those characters. At least continue and be interesting, anyway. The thing that makes a show the most interesting is the characters, you know? So... Now, a show I'm looking forward to the next season. I'm not sure when it's supposed to come out, but it's, uh, maybe it's already started, I haven't looked into it in the past couple months, is uh, Dark Matter. I'm looking forward to that one a lot. Uh, I got hooked on that last year, and uh, yeah, I look forward to that again. But uh, I guess I've said enough here. I'm just enjoying uh, Kobayashi Park which I will, uh, here, let's... There we go. And that's a wrap.